outer leg lines. One is right along the tibia, right in the flesh, tib anterior. Three quarters of the way out, kind of down. Again, usually about three quarters of the way up the thigh. Then the second one splits the leg in half from the side. Say it again. Oh. Give, give or take, give or take, yeah. So if, if I come in, what she's asking is, if I'm doing this, am I hitting both lines? Yeah, yeah generally. We're working soft tissue. When, when Thai masters, when Pichette, when you go to Thailand and you study with Pichette, is he gonna work lines? When Pichette works lines, does he work tissue? Oh. And when Pichette works on you, does he ponder a tradition that's been handed down through him in a Theravadan Buddhist culture with Vipassana meditation and the fact that Thai massage is a part and a branch of like traditional Thai medicine, which is said to have come from Jivaka, the father doctor who treated the Buddha. And that the session he is giving you is going to help you sit and meditate and kind of filter into your spiritual life. Yes. Now, I approach it the same way. I don't, if I walked in, the, in this Pichette's place right now, I'd put some bananas on the altar at the Buddha, do a little bow. Pichette would lead me through a Y crew, call me fat, and I'd go, okay, yeah, yeah. Because that's how Pichette rolls. But I'm in his culture. How does that work in our culture? Yeah, unless your clients, who was it that said he couldn't have, was it you that said he couldn't have the Buddha in your studio? Yeah, it, it's that sort of thing. It's a cultural component. I'm not denying those other pieces. I'm just giving you good soft tissue work to start with. How does this feel, Kristen? Yeah. I don't have any illusions that the physical leads to other stuff. Why did Javier start doing yoga and it affected his Catholicism? It affects his spiritual life. I think that good body work does the same thing. I don't think that affecting your spiritual life has to do anything with any specific religious tradition. And I know that will make some people angry if they hear that, but I've read too much Joseph Campbell. Comparative mythology. I believe in Star Wars. Yes. <laughs> I just saw Solo. I will not be buying the action figures. Outer leg lines, two of them. You got it? You guys want to do both sides? Yeah. Hey, it looks good, you guys. Um, I've noticed in the past two or three years, I've seen like a shift in my classes. When I used to teach this, the students were completely perplexed. And over time, it's gotten easier and easier. And I don't know if it's because people are, massage therapists are becoming more familiar with mat-based work and the idea, at least, of using their feet. Yeah. I had a slight change in my position because my legs were more like this. That's what I was feeling like, okay. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. There's nothing wrong with this temporarily, but if you were doing that a long time, it would hurt your back. Okay. Yeah. That's why when I'm working those inner, or my sorry, outer leg lines, mm -hmm. if I'm going to work on that portion, I'm going to take this knee underneath hers. Okay. So turn. Because then I can use my forearm. Okay. In there, see? Do you mean when I'm using my hands too? Or just when I do this? You could also use your hands there. Increasingly, what I'm going to do is take you off of your hands, put you on your forearms and elbows, on your feet, on your knees. Make sense? Yeah. Just because I don't want you to overwork these guys. Okay. Yeah. But lots of options over time. <laughs> Did you use your legs yet? Oh, okay. Because if she wants more pressure, that's how you'll deliver it. She didn't want that much pressure. It's a little tender. 